It's the end of the calendar day. Um, we're getting to it anyways, but 11 o'clock at night. Um, I've been up since around 1 o'clock so this afternoon. Um, and as I stated, what I've been doing is um, running through um, these tracks um, very carefully to see if they sound right or not. Um, what I'm noticing is that um, the tracks from the last two records that I had completed, one of them was in October and the other one was in May. Um, it's completed material over the period of uh, 2001 to 2002. Um, there's two records worth of material there. Um, but, but it was mostly stuff that I had finished on this machine with this setup, and that stuff sounds sounds perfect. There's maybe a, a little bit of um, mute in the bass, um, but I think it's probably um, more a playback issue than a driver issue. Um, it, it, it sounds about as good as um, it, it's going to sound. Um, pretty close to perfect. Um, but I've noticed that the um, tracks from the um, album that I the, the remix album, it's, it, it's a record of remixes of material done in 1998 and uh, 1999. Um, actually, that's not true. It's all entirely in 1998. Um, that stuff, um, the bass is really, it sounds, it, it very badly sounds like it's through a limiter or a heavy compressor. Um, I'm thinking that the reason for that is probably because I mixed it on a broken system. So now that when I'm playing it back on a functioning system, um, it, it sounds poorly. Um, the other um, explanation I have for that is just that um, the playback material was on for a long time, um, but that doesn't explain the discrepancy. Um, the fact that the older stuff sounds great and the newer stuff doesn't um, indicates that I may have to revisit that. Um, and it may have been part of the... Um, problem I was having um, the whole time because I was testing with the new stuff. I was trying to get the new stuff to sound the way I expected it to sound and the biggest issue I was having was always the bass. Um, so um, it may be the case that I mixed it on a broken machine and now that I'm, when I'm playing it on a, on a functioning machine it doesn't sound the way I expected it to sound on the broken machine. Um, I'm not quite there yet though. Um, I've just run um, the first serious iteration of the script. Um, I had cut the script up into pieces and I'm going to try one at a time um, to see what effect it has on the playback. Um, the, 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 this process of going through this was very slow because I wanted to be thorough. Um, I guess it took me, uh, what's 11, about, about 8 hours. Um, there's only about 4 hours worth of music there so you can see I was going over it slowly, carefully. Um, and um, what I'm gonna do, I, I just ran that, so I'm gonna turn this off, I'll make myself something to eat, um, and then come back to it afterwards. Um, but it's looking like um, right now um, the system looks like it's in a stable state, um, but the mixes I had been working um, are uh, going to need a lot of work. Um, the the other question I need to ask is um, whether that's something that I hear. Um, through just Windows or over ASIO as well. Um, because I'm a little skeptical about that. Um, regardless of whatever issues I'm having, um, I would expect things to sound proper through ASIO, um, regardless. Um, so the fact that it's sounding a little funny here is still making me a little bit skeptical. But the reality is that the initial stuff sounds great. Um, and, and I don't really know how I would have broken ASIO. Um, as I was mixing. So there's still a lot of question marks here, um, but I'm getting closer, and um, I do think that the system is currently stable. Um, now it's time to get something to eat. Um, I'm not going to run a walkthrough today, it's just old default fettuccine. Um, I do have a few more ideas, but I need to go to the store to get some ingredients before I can work any of those out. Okay, so um, this is a little bit curious. Um, Right before I restarted, I decided I'd try and see what the new material sounds like through the internal sound card, the M audio card. Um, and I actually got my, my my bass sound that I was looking for. It was no longer kind of thin and limited. 
So um, I switched back to the mixer and I got the bass sound that, I sh that I'm expecting to get um, for the new material, but it meant that the old material sounded, um, it, it was kind of missing the highs again. So um, I, I kind of have an answer for that anyways. Um, I'm not sure what it's doing there. Um, again, that's probably in the Windows, um, the, the WDM. Um, I suppose that when I turned the M Audio card on, I triggered something in the Windows Playback, um, and the Alesis mixer picked it up. So um, I didn't want it to do that, um, whatever it did. Um, something to do with a sample rate conversion or, or, or something like that. Um, I'll have to do some more testing to figure it out. Um, again, for it, like I say, for right now, right now, I'm, I'm turning it off, getting something to eat, um, and I'll find out what it sounds like when I come back. Um, but um, at least I understand what's. I mean, the, it, 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 it's a significant shift. Um, it sounds the way I wanted to sound with the new stuff, but it doesn't sound the way I wanted to sound with the old stuff. Um, but it's the old stuff that I wanted to sound like because that's what I mixed everything else on. Um, again, more testing is required, but I seem to have figured something out there. So it's about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I had some spaghetti. I came back to it. Um, it's 5.30 after the time change, so it's really 6.30. Uh, I think I'm happy that the sun's going to come up a little bit earlier. I, I hate daylight savings time, especially with with that hour difference. It's just... I like the sun up early. Um, I, I like it when the sun's up at 5. Um, and I really don't mind if the sun goes down early. It's it, it, it's a... I guess I'm more of a... I'm really not more of a morning, morning person. I'm more of an overnight person, you see. So it's the late night, watching the sun come up kind of thing. Um, I like the early morning. Um, but I mean, if, like, it doesn't bother me if it gets dark at 4 in the afternoon, if it means that the sun comes out at 5 a.m. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, it's about 5.30 in the morning, um, and, um, I've rebooted the machine a few times, um, and I'm noticing that the behavior is consistent. Um, when I launch it from the mixer through, um, the window sound, I get nice crispy or sorry nice sparkly highs um kind of flat yucky lows um and it's most exaggerated um with the newer material but i think it's most exaggerated with the newer material simply just because the bass is so much more prominent um because i mixed it that way um i'm kind of kind of realizing that that maybe the um stuff from the last two records didn't really have a lot of really deep bass um, and, I mean, I, I did point out that it seemed a little flat, um, so maybe it's not really so much of a difference, um, across the songs, so much as it's just, it, it seems more pronounced, um, because of the difference in presentation. Um, whereas if I open it up, or sorry, whereas if I switch to the internal card, then I get, you know, the crunchy, deep, thick bass, but I lose a little bit of the highs. So it's, you know, neither one of them are doing what they should, and it's like, if I could have them both running at the same time, maybe even. Um, so, I tried directly in ASIO, I opened up Cubase. Um, what does it sound like um, if I I'm just throw away the windows layer altogether because I mean that's what the problem is here obviously um, when I get a different sound depending on which card I layer uh, sorry I, I load first it has to be with the windows layer thing right and I've known this for a while that it's I'm, I'm it's, it's it's bloody windows but the thing is that I'm pretty sure I had this good for a really long time so what I'm really struggling for is to find that sweet spot um, Anyway, so I opened it up in ASIO, 
um, over Cubase, which bypasses the Windows K mixer bullshit. Um, and I was getting the flat sound, which is surprising to me. Um, which made me think that maybe there was something in the way, like a service. So, um, I've disabled, disabled the Windows driver framework management, um, or the user mode driver framework management, and I've also disabled the Windows audio. Um, and I'm going to try, um, opening it from Cubase, uh, or opening it, um, playing it back with ASIO from Cubase from there. And let's see what happens. Might as well just let this run. It won't take too long to figure this out. Because it is really quite pronounced. And it's easy to hear immediately. Um, whether I'm getting the flat or the full. Turn my card on first. kind of weird blip, I guess. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so now I'm getting the nice full sound out of the ASIO out. So, I mean, it's one of those three things. It's, I'm going to guess, actually, probably the driver framework management. Um, but let's turn them on one at a time and see which um, one has the uh, effect. Yeah, so I turned off a bunch of unnecessary services um, and, you know, and startup programs like a... a some stuff connected to the video card, and Java quick launch, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's all stuff that the script would have taken out anyways. <clears throat> um, including the driver mode framework. Um, but I turned the Windows audio back on and it's actually given me somewhere kind of halfway in between, which is what I needed. Um, so I'm getting the lows and I'm getting the highs. Um, it seems like this is good. Um, but um, I need to test it to make sure that um, I'm not, I didn't just recreate the fading issue. Um, so, um, like I say, it, it had previously sounded like the old stuff was getting, you know, lots of nice sparkly highs, but just not quite enough lows, whereas the new stuff was getting um, not enough lows at all. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was just that the new stuff... Um, had more prominent bass, so I noticed it more. I mean, it was the same basic issue. Um, and just turning off background stuff seems to have got me to where I need to be, which is where the script would have brought me to anyways. Um, so um, everything's aligning well with that. Um, I just need to test this um, a little bit more strenuously before I get to the next part of the script, um, which I probably won't get to um, by the time I finish this and upload it, because it is... 6.30 in the morning, um, and I'm going to have to sleep at some point. Um, we'll find out. Yeah, I'm fading, so I'm stopping for the night. Um, it's a quarter to seven in the morning. Um, you know, just sitting here and listening um, uh, makes you get a little bit tired, um, maybe a little bit sooner than um, I normally would, although I've been, um, it's, it's an average length of day for me. Um, but at the same time I was in bed last night. Um, a little bit later, actually. Um, so there's my cycle forward. Um, and um, I, 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 I've got my lows back. Um, so this sounds ideal again. Um, and I've got my lows across both sets. So 
Um, this is positioned well. Um, I'm not really going to focus on exactly what it was because I'm deleting it all anyways with the script. Um, it's enough to know that um, it works properly with the Windows Audio on. Um, because if, it were, if I needed to turn the Windows Audio off, that would be um, a little bit more of a complicated problem. So I'm done. Um, I'll be up again um, in the afternoon, um, it appears. And uh, see you later then.